What did he tell us to do? He told us to preach the kingdom of God. He told us to heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, <laughs> to, to, to raise the dead, to cast out demon spirits. In other words, he said, remove the dis-ease and help people transfer their loyalty from the kingdom of darkness and its ruler, the devil, and transfer their loyalty to the kingdom of God and his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. We are called to transfer people's loyalties. You and I are called to preach the kingdom of heaven, transferring loyalty from one kingdom to another, pushing back on the dis-ease that happens to us, that happens in our families, that happens in our society, that happens in the workplace. And one of the best ways to do that is to say to folks, can I pray for you today? God loves you. The great physician is here to bring healing to your life. I promise you, in the workplace, God will perform great miracles. I've seen him do it many times. Actually, I've seen God perform miracles out there, more out there than in here. He does it. Why is that? Because he is a great shepherd. He is the great physician. And he's called the whole church and its specialized priesthood, the bishops, to lead the church forward into this mission. By the way, I say this in love. You will never get rid of your disease without your bishops and pastors. You can't do it by yourself. I know you've been taught that individualistic piety by the United States society that you live in. You cannot get free without God's ministers. You just can't do it. You say, well, you can kind of swell up in that, bow up at that. I didn't set that up. King Jesus set that up. I said King Jesus set that up. And what's the purpose of it? To remove dis-ease. Are you dis-eased about anything today? Are you dis-eased about anything going on in your life, in your family, in your finances, in your workplace, in, your, in your, just the well-being of your life? How about in your body? Jesus, the great physician, is here to heal the sick. Isn't that great? Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, you can do better now. This I know this isn't a Pentecostal church, but what do you work for? Thank you very much. It is a hallelujah thing to experience this incredible blessing. And he does it for us in so many ways. And one of the specialized ways that he does that is he comes, I, I would have never chosen this way, but he told us to set aside bread and wine and consecrate it and that he would enter into that bread and wine and he would come into your physical body in that bread and wine and heal you and me of this e blessed lord the great physician thank you for the calling thank you for the mission thank you lord for the healing that you provide for us as the great physician lord today if there's any dis-ease in anybody's heart and lord i feel some diseased spirits running around that's causing problems we're here today with the help of the great physician to cause that other king and that other kingdom some dis-ease of their own. Now, Lord, grant us your peace, your healing, and your grace, we pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the blessed Holy Spirit. Amen.